Shorts Festival. We've got three people here that are responsible for creating Psycho Hillbilly Cabin Massacre, right? Okay, we have got Wendy Wegner. Yes. We've got Robert Cosenhan. Yeah. And we've got Doug Howell. Pleasure to see everybody. Uh, tell me a little about the movie. Who wants to start? Uh, the movie is a horror film, a horror comedy, actually. And um, it's about four Ivy League students who travel into the middle of the woods and um, run into a spooky hillbilly cabin. And uh, a bloodbath erupts. And there's a huge twist, which I can't tell you. Okay, it's awesome. I, that's okay. Now, um, tell me a little bit about your role in this movie. I am the co-writer. I co-wrote it with Doug right. and co-producer. So we have all kind of been on this ride together from the very beginning. So right. we, Doug came to me with this amazing idea, which was the twist. And then we went from there, and he wrote the first draft. And then we went from there and wrote different drafts, multiple drafts, and kind of made this really awesome, fun film, and then approached Rob. Is it easier to work with somebody else or by yourself when you're writing something like this? In this case, it was easier to work with somebody else. I mean, we, we absolutely couldn't, we couldn't have made this movie without each other. We made this movie in film school. Um, we, we, you know, we all supported each other, and, uh, and you know, we're all a big part of it. So, you know, absolutely. Nobody, this, this was a, we, we bit off a lot more than we could chew, even the three of us. Yeah. We were all still sort of like, how do we do this, you know? And, and actually, Rob came up with a lot of that stuff on his own, because we didn't know how to kill people on screen or anything like that. And Rob would have to, like, think about it really hard. So we, yeah, we, we couldn't have done it without each other, so. Now, did you have any background in that? I mean, where do you get, where'd you get all your inspiration on, on creating that? Actually, I watched a lot of um, old Sam Raimi films, and Peter Jackson, too, because they were kind of masters of creating low-tech um, you know, effects and really selling violence. And that's where we had to look to. D Doug, actually, we all watched uh, Evil Dead 2 together on, the, on our first meeting mm -hmm. just to kind of get the ball rolling with that you know, kind of vibe. And um, there's a lot to be learned from those kind of things, to steal from or borrow from or tweak, right. you know? So yeah, man, fun. Sam Raimi and, and like Wes Craven and Sam Raimi and Toby Hooper, we, like, this whole thing is an homage to those guys, you know? We, like, totally paid tribute to those 70s grindhouse horror movies, you know? So. Right. Now, now, uh, yeah. now, how do you sell, to the two producers in the group here, how do you sell Psycho Hillbilly Cabin Massacre and get people to invest in something like that? Well, I'll, I'll, I can answer that question. <laughs> First of all, what you need to do is you need to have pens made up oh, that write in red ink. That is, this, that is the key. Um, well, like I said, we made this movie in film school, so uh, the school gave us about a third of our budget. And then the other, uh, the other budget came, honestly, from us like raising money, writing letters, asking friends and relatives, like everything we could do. I put money on my credit card, you know, like anything we could do to get the money, to get the, to the movie done. And, and honestly, we showed people the script and people liked the script and that helps too. Like if you are trying to raise money for a movie and you show people the script and they like the script and the script is good, that helps. Right, now, yeah. uh, now, has it been anywhere else since, I mean, are you going to be showing at any other festivals? We, to take that? Our, right. first, our very first festival was, I mean, was Chicago. Chicago. That was, Chicago was our very first festival. Yeah. I didn't get to go to Chicago, but the very first one I went to was AFI Fest. That's where we... It wasn't in the budget? You're the producer. <laughs> I, I wasn't there. Right. Yeah, no. We were not yeah, that no, big of a budget, no, so no, we're not that no, fancy. No, but, right. but we all kind of, the first time we all kind of got together was AFI Fest, and we're, we're still screening at other festivals after here, and we're just trying to kind of live off of it and let the world see it because they need right. to. You know? Well, I have to tell you, when I first read about this, when we were reading up on this festival. This movie sounded terrific. So I'm really glad I got a chance to meet you guys. Best of success with this movie. It sounds great. Thank you. Thanks okay, a thank lot. Thank you very much yeah, for coming in. We appreciate it. You yeah. bet. See you Saturday night. <laughs>